Hey everyone, in today's Photoshop video, I wanna show you how to resize a layer inside of Photoshop. So it could be a photo layer, a text layer, a shape layer. It all works the same way. And at the end of the video, I'll show you an option that's an advanced option in Photoshop that lets you resize an image without squeezing or stretching it. It's using content aware techniques in Photoshop. Really, really blew my mind the first time I used it. I'll show you that at the end. If it's your first time on this channel, I always have a free trial link to the latest version of Photoshop in the description of all my videos and a link to my full course for Photoshop for beginners. Let's jump in. So here in my Photoshop document, I have just two layers. This one is a picture layer and this one is a text layer, okay? So to resize any layer, all you have to do is use a tool called Free Transform Tool. It's under the edit menu on top here. And if you go down, it's called free transform, but I typically use the keyboard shortcut for it. Command T on a Mac or control T on a PC, okay? So I'll go over here and press command T since I'm on a Mac. And once you click it, as long as this layer is unlocked, so I click the lock icon if you have a lock icon, and you could go ahead and grab these squares and make your layer bigger this way or grab it this way and make it bigger and fit your screen here or make it smaller if you're putting other elements here like the text. So I could just do this and when I'm done, I just have to press the check mark. At any time, I could press Command T again and get these back and resize it a different way. Now let me show you, if you hold Shift, it lets you squeeze it or stretch it, okay? If you don't hold Shift, it won't let you do that. Now it depends, if you have a really old Photoshop, it's the exact other way. Shift lets you actually keep it the same and not squeeze or stretch it. But in the newer Photoshop, after 2019, I believe, if you hold Shift, you could actually squeeze it this way, okay? So I don't wanna do that, let me just press the check mark here. That's the free transform tool. The next tool is really powerful. Let me show you this. If I grab this image here, and if I hold shift, okay, and if I resize it, you see how it's squeezing my image? And if I go this way, you see how it's stretching my image? Here's my subject, she's now stretched out, okay? So there is a way where that doesn't happen, and you could still resize things this way. Let me press X, let me actually make this small to kind of make my point. I'll put it right over here. Okay, let's say I wanna stretch this out to fill the screen this way, but not cover the text this way. And if I hold shift, I could stretch it and everything looks bad. The moon looks bad, the person looks bad. They're all stretched out the wrong way, right? We don't want that, okay? But let me show you how you fix that. There's an option in Photoshop under the edit menu here, and it's called content aware scale. Okay, let me select this. Again, I made sure my layer is selected, the image, and I selected that. Okay, now I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna stretch this out. And look what's happening. The moon is actually not stretching out. The sky is not stretching out. It's using content aware technology to fill in without squeezing it. Now, one thing is gonna happen though. Let me keep going. And my person, you see, they get stretched out. So if you have people or pets or cars, this may be a problem if you do this technique, but you could even fix that. So let me show you that. Let me just get out of here. If I select this layer, and if I come to the properties panel here, I could select my subject, okay? I'm gonna select this, and it's gonna do a good job selecting the person or the pet or the car, okay? Let that take place. Then you're gonna come over here and go to select and save this selection. So I'm gonna go ahead and save the selection down here. Click this and name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name this girl, for example, okay? I'm gonna press okay. Now I need to get rid of this selection, so I'll come up to select and deselect, okay? That should be right over here. Again, there's a keyboard shortcut, command or control D. Now I have nothing selected, okay? Now let's go back to edit and then do our content aware scale. But this time let's come up here and under protect, Click this drop down and choose your selection, okay? I already made this one, I was testing this out previous to recording, but this is what I wanna pick girl, the selection I made, okay? Now, if I stretch this out while I hold shift, she's gonna remain the same no matter if I 
make this smaller or larger. You see that? Now the moon is not stretching. My person is not getting stretched. The sky looks right no matter how far I go. Really, really incredible option here. Without using that, if I press Command T and stretch this out, look at what, what's happening. My moon looks completely messed up. She looks completely stretched out. And if I squeeze, nothing looks right, okay? It's really one of my favorite ways to resize layers in Photoshop if the regular free transform doesn't do the job that you're looking to do. Now, if you wanna resize something to exactly the size you want, you could actually do that by looking at the top corner when you resize something, okay? So I'm just holding shift here and I'm trying to get this to be maybe a square. So I could get this to be 10 by 10 or 12 by 12. So that's something to pay attention to. It makes it really easy to resize something based on the width and the height numbers. I could always come up here too and type in exactly how many pixels. Maybe I want this to be 500 pixels and then I'll go to Y and make this 500 pixels and it's gonna place it where I want and I could go ahead and change the width and the height the same way too. Maybe I just want this to be 50% of the width and 50% of the height, okay? And then press the check mark and then you could use the move tool again to place this anywhere within your image you want. You change your mind, you press Command T again and it's gonna bring this back up and then you could go ahead and change those numbers over here. You could stretch it out this way instead. I hope one of these two options was useful for you. Please make sure you subscribe for easy to follow Photoshop and creative tool videos on this channel and I'll see you next time.